Hey, what's up, buddy? I've been asked to show the design process of a government seal using Fireworks Graphics Editor. So during this exercise, you can learn some cool design tactics that you can carry into many different types of design projects that you're commissioned for by clients or for your own projects. Now, if you're using a different, equally powerful graphics editor, you can do the same exact thing that we're about to do, but the options might have different names in your favorite tool. But all the workflow would be exactly the same. The first thing we shall do is create a new Fireworks PNG document with 1000 pixels, height 500 pixels, okay. Then we're going to draw an ellipse and we're gonna hold shift to make sure it remains a perfect circle. Then we're going to take that ellipse and put it in the center of our canvas. Now let's give it a black edge and let's remove the fill. Now we'll hit our text tool and type in the text that we want. Let's grab it and put it in the center above the ellipse. I'm going to center align it. Now let's hit the text tool again and put the country. And that one's already center aligned so let's place it in the center of the canvas. And we're also going to decrease the font size. Okay next we're going to highlight our ellipse and we're going to press Control C, Control V. Then we're going to press Control V again. So what we have are three ellipses but don't move them. Now while holding shift, I'm going to highlight the text that I want and the shape. I'm going to go to text, attach to path. Now if it happens to attach to the path in that way, you can just simply hit the scale tool and rotate it, holding shift to where it hits specific angles, and then put it where you want it. Now since it's center aligned, I can change the font size. And you see what happens? Okay, so let's move that one up just a little bit. Now let's highlight the other text. And while holding shift, we're going to highlight the next ellipse. Now let's go to text, attach to path. Now let's also rotate that one. Hit our pointer tool and we can drag it around anywhere we want. And while it's highlighted, we're going to go to text and reverse direction. Now let's go ahead and rotate it and put it back into place. Let's change the font size. And let's move this one back down into place. Now if I was to take another ellipse, and draw it around everything, we can move our text aside and check the dimensions to make sure they're both even dimensions. So let's just put this one on 450, 450. And we can just move these out of the way and get it centered in the canvas. Now let's go ahead and put our text. This one needs to be a little bit smaller. So let's just scale it down. Okay, so we can go ahead and remove this last inner ellipse, control X, just get it out of there and put your text back into place and put this text back into place. Now, you'll notice that this ellipse needs to be a little bit bigger because the text is wrapped in a reverse direction inside of the shape or inside of the path. So what I'm going to do is go to text, detach from path. Then I'm just gonna make this ellipse larger. Make sure it has even numbers. I'm going to go to text, attach to path. And you just play with it until you get the correct curvature. Now I'm going to go to shapes and grab a star. And I'll draw a star right here. And then I'll copy that, control C, control V, and drag the copy to the other side. Now the rest is pretty easy and straightforward. We don't need this outer ellipse anymore unless you want to have it. So this outer ellipse, I'm going to bring the edge up to maybe three. And I'm going to draw another ellipse in the center of the text. And make sure it has even numbers, even dimensions. There, that looks pretty good. I can move this one up a little bit. And if you want, you can also grab a donut and draw the donut in and then make it the size that you want. You can move that to the side and get rid of these ellipse. If you don't want just lines, maybe you want a solid color. Now press Control, Shift, Down arrow key to send it to the back and change the color of it. Then you can use your arrow keys to just put it exactly where it needs to go. Let's bring this in a little bit. There, that looks good to me. Actually, let's bring it in a little bit more. And you can also give this dark edge of any size. Actually, let's change it from black to a gold color. And then let's put the fill back to white. Okay, now I went to File, 
and import and I imported other graphics that I have and I'm going to put them into place copy that control C control V flip the new copy and drag it into place bring this down a little bit and there we go and then I can highlight all those together group them and then scale it then put it back in the center and you can do anything you want with the graphics now I'll just highlight everything together press control G then I'll press control C control V to make a new copy and now I'll go to modify flatten and then shrink it down to the size that it's going to display on a web page or in print design or wherever it's going to display so you can see it looks nice and crispy when you shrink it down and everything's legible so that's how it's done folks I hope you've enjoyed this exercise and if you'd like to be an operative in the National Cyberspace Defense Agency you can contact me and I'll put you through a rigorous training process to get you ready to defend global cyberspace.